Hi, my name is Pop. I'm making a short tutorial for YouTube called Ubuntu Basics discussing Radio Tray. And I've got Radio Tray running in the background. And Radio Tray resides in your top panel after you turn it on. And you can get any one of these stations going. And there's not too many of them. It does exactly what it says. You can turn off the station and leave on Radio Tray, or you can quit Radio Tray and in that case the icon disappears from your top panel. Every time you turn on Ubuntu you have got to be able to load Radio Tray. It won't stay up there forever. And there's a bunch of good stations on here. The uh, A few of the stations will not be online. I assume that is because they are uh, run out of somebody's garage. The nice thing about this program is it's teeny tiny and you don't have thousands and thousands and thousands of stations to try to find and uh, so far so good I like it you can turn the volume up and down if you have a laptop with your left hand on the function key and your right hand on the 10 key plus minus and the asterisk is mute you touch the asterisk again and it goes back to where you were and it's instantaneous in that sense. I'm going to turn it off right now and I'll show you how you get the program. You go to the Ubuntu Software Center, just type in Radio Tray or Radio, that ought to get it. And uh, it takes about just a few seconds to download. It's a, such a small program. It's got good reviews, nice reviews. Oops, one guy gave it a one and that means he didn't like it. I guess he had a problem with it. And the rest of them are all good. Well, after you download it, it appears in your menu and you've got to tap on it in order to get it to run. If you don't do this, it won't be up in the top panel. If you hit it, it shows. And once it shows, you just go to whatever song you want to play and turn it on and there it is my name is pop I've got a whole bunch of videos on Ubuntu basics on YouTube and I enjoy hearing from people I thank you very very much